Hello, friends of the internet. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Welcome to SourceFed. The collective imagination of the people has been running wild with the rise of the 3D printer. And hot on the heels of the 3D printed gun controversy are questions questioning what's next? Food. The answer is food. Thank you for watching SourceFed. Uh, just joking, allow us to elaborate. The food answer might be the answer to our world's future food problem. NASA granted a man by the name of Anhan Contractor. <laughs> That's his name. He's like a villain in every sci-fi movie. I wonder if that guy was born to be a contractor. I don't want to be a contractor. But you're a contractor! Like, are you saying I shouldn't have another profession? No, that's not what I'm saying, son. I'm saying it's your last name. Gosh. Anyways, NASA granted this guy, Anhan Contractor, $125,000 and tasked him with the developing of a prototype for his universal food synthesizer, which is a 3D food printer. What the f***? NASA wants the food tech for space meals, but if successful, this innovation might be your future toaster oven microwave fridge. The system basically breaks down our daily nutrients, carbs, proteins, and such, and turns them into a powder with a shelf life of up to 30 years. Takes all your dietary needs, basically turns it into fun dip. And the amazing part is that each person can personalize their meals according to their culinary needs. Contractor says, quote, one of the major advantages of a 3D printer is that it provides personalized nutrition. If you're male, female, someone is sick, they all have different dietary needs. If you can program your needs into a 3D printer, it could print exactly the nutrients that a person requires. And program is a fun word to use here because you would just program in your favorite recipe. Initiate steak and potatoes and enter. Powders will mix with liquids and the steak and potatoes will spray out layer by layer by hopefully delicious layer. Again, NASA is interested in the long shelf life for space travel, but contractors looking at the bigger picture here on Earth. I think, and many economists think, that current food systems can't supply 12 billion people sufficiently. So we eventually have to change our perception of what we see as food. And that perception might evolve into your food becoming powders and liquids that are manipulated by zeros and ones. It's kinda gross. Hope you're okay with that. <laughs> Better than starving. Ew, is that one of those fake steaks? I want this real steak. Seriously, I just fun dip the hell out of it all. I'd open my little pack and get my little candy stick and mm, steak, delicious, honey. You, this is the reason I married you. You dehydrate a good steak. <laughs> so what do you guys think of this? Would you eat this 3D printed food? Let us know in the comments down below. And after you're done with that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click this annotation for more stories. But here's the thing about this annotation. Tell them the thing, Steve. I'll tell you the thing, Joe Beretta. If you click it, you go to SourceFed Nerd, which is our all new channel full of nerd stuff. So I'm sure you've seen it and subscribed. And if not, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? What's going on? Are you all right? You want to talk? I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Steve Zaragoza. See you guys later.